appearances are deceiving. The city of Nuremberg might seem prosperous, but beneath the surface, it's in financial trouble. The city has got itself entangled in subterranean transactions linked to its sewage and drainage system. The city facilities now belong to a U.S. investor, or maybe not. The municipal authority is involved in something called cross-border leasing. Most of Nuremberg's citizens have never even heard of the concept. Is it to do with car leasing? Cross-border leasing? No idea. It's the first time I've heard of it. Cross-border leasing is... Cross-border leasing involves selling public facilities to investors with the purpose of making some kind of profit. Precisely. And at first it worked out that way. The city got 18.4 million euros. But the entire transaction has lost its charm for city treasurer Harald Riedel. Last December, the city had to stump up 50 million euros to fulfill the conditions of the cross-border leasing contract's small print. No one had expected the onset of the global financial crisis. Do you really think it's sensible for city authorities to get so involved in financial speculation? It wasn't financial speculation. They were legitimate contracts that we signed, and we were not alone. You have to realize that Germany's local authorities have always been in a difficult situation, then and now. For us, it represented a possibility of getting money by taking calculable risks. That's why we did it back then. But the risks are far from being calculable, says Julian Robatz, who advises local authorities attempting to end their cross-border leasing contracts. But just how widespread is the practice? Some 160 contracts exist worth at least 80 billion euros. With losses totaling up to a third of that, it could involve many billions of euros. That the German authorities will have to pay? Yes. In the meantime, some U.S. investors involved in the cross-border leasing deals are now profiting. The embattled U.S. insurance giant AIG was involved as a depository bank and as an underwriter in many of the transactions. Many of the leasing contracts included small print that speculated on AIG's creditworthiness sinking. The crisis has hit the U.S. company hard and the local authorities are feeling the impact. The investors are speculating on the creditworthiness of AIG. They're speculating on its creditworthiness slipping. And when this happens, and AIG really slips in the ratings, then the authorities have to pay. Do you think the local authorities understood that when they signed the contracts? No, definitely not. That's for sure. It makes absolutely no economic sense. Nuremberg has now had to come up with three times the money that it received under the deal. Now it wants to get out of the contract, but that's not easy. That's a thick contract. There were lots of people involved in the negotiations. It was extensive. Did you read it? Not entirely, just the relevant passages. The authorities in Nuremberg will no doubt be more careful in the future.